So this video is everything you need to prepare for clinical labs. Hi, my name is Monica. And I'm Cordero. And this is A Couple Nurses. And today we're going to share with you five tips on how you can prepare for clinical labs and simulations. Okay, so if you do like the video, find any value in it, have any other advice, um, just make sure you um, hit the like button down below. And I want y'all to write nurses rock on there in the comments. Without further ado, tip one. Tip number one is going to be preparation in terms of, for example, WGU Cordero told me that they know the topics that they're going to be discussing or the simulation that's going to be getting taken place um, that day. For our school, we get this huge like five question, four questions, sometimes three if we get lucky, um, questions that have to deal with the scenario. Um, we get the scenario. They tell us um, kind of an idea of what's going to be going on, So, but you don't really know what kind of interventions you're going to be doing. You just have to have this range of knowledge. So my best advice for number one is going to be make sure you do your reading. Don't just do, don't just look at the topic and be like, oh, okay, we're going to be doing gestational diabetes. Don't act like you know everything about gestational diabetes because whatever can go wrong will go wrong in simulation and in skills. So make sure you read up on the topics and be prepared. Tip two. So tip number two is to make sure you have all of your supplies uh, whenever you go to clinical labs. Uh, number one is definitely your stethoscope and at our school they tell us that we need to have our pencils instead of pins uh, because pins can give the dummies tattoos and we definitely don't want that. Tip three. And that third tip is confidence. You betcha. No seriously though. You have to be confident when you get in there. Don't be scared to be the charge nurse in the simulation. Like for example Chamberlain they give you roles and there's probably like three or four students in there. Try to ask to be the charge nurse so you can do all the assessments, the IS bars, or even the assessment nurse at that. Don't be scared to just be the documenter or the medication person, even though medication can get hard. But moral of the story is be confident. Fake it till you make it, you know what I mean? Go in there. Nobody wants to have a student nurse go into their room that has a low confidence because that vibe definitely shows off. So just make sure you keep the confidence up, you guys. Tip four. And tip number four is going to be to make sure that you prepare by watching videos of other simulations. So as Monica said, if you're going to be doing, um, if you know that you're going to be doing videos over gestational diabetes or CHF, make sure that you watch videos um, of other people's simulations so that way you can prepare yourself best. Tip five. And the final um, tip is going to be Take the initiative to either talk to your professor and ask them, hey, can you show me the supplies in the room? Um, know how to work the supplies, know how to work the pumps, but most importantly, know how to read your MAR. Um, if you don't know how to read your MAR and you forget to bring your MAR into simulation with you, that's where all your orders are. So that is like priority. So take some time out of your day, have some initiative, read that more, know how to read these orders because they do diff they do differ a lot from the hospital world. So that's five. Well, we appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch this video. We really hope that we gave you some five amazing tips that you can utilize for your skills and simulation. And remember, if you like the video, be sure to like it. Until next time. Peace. Peace out.